All right, hello, hello to all my guys, gals, and non-binary pals out there across the electrical ocean. This is Jazzman, and we are in a game between Burn Pyro playing Full Faction Under Depths and a good old Shrine Master playing Full Faction Ascended Lands. Man, this is a this is kind of a switcheroo, like a bait and switch. Burn should be the uh, should be the Ascended Lands player, right? But uh, yeah, we're I you know I I joined this game thinking, you know, it's three minutes in, what could possibly have happened, right? I, I probably didn't miss much. But then I join, and of course, Shrine Master has immediately conceded the mid-font and uh, is turtling, doing his old Shrine Master routine. Oh, you, 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 many words that I cannot say without getting uh, copyrighted. But uh, yeah, I, I guess I could use this time while uh, Burn Pyro advances menacingly here on Shrine Master to discuss uh, the new patch. Because uh, this is going to be the first game I upload from uh, the new patch, uh, new patch PogChamp, new patch PogChamp, uh, Alakami, our our uh, our new overlord, and Dictator has uh, benevolently benevolently blessed us with a, a balanced patch, uh, co a collaborative effort. I have to say there was a lot of community involvement here, and uh, it's actually the largest uh, balance update we've had in, in uh, quite a while. So uh, if anyone's interested and hasn't noticed uh, the changes yet or hasn't uh, looked up the changes, uh, just head on over to the Poxnor Discord and uh, there'll be a link. There'll be several links, actually, in the announcement section where you can check those changes out. But uh, yeah, so this is... Uh, I was hoping there would be some new runes or some uh, some changed runes in the game. Uh, Corona is one of them. And uh, man, Corona, I, I I gotta give Alakami credit. When he, when he, took for, when he first took power... Uh, he was he was thinking yeah or he well he told us rather that uh, he wanted every change to be a hell yeah change and uh, when I look at Corona I gotta say he hit the mark this is a this is definitely a hell yeah brother change and uh, well maybe for the person playing Corona but uh, for for Corona's unlucky opponent uh, perhaps not <laughs> so much thirst for battle oblivion shield duel I feel like Corona is probably gonna get uh, adjusted in the uh, in the near future. But for now, Burn Pyro is uh, abusing her as best he can. Uh, the pin cushion that was in this font actually died to what is that? Five auras? Like, <laughs> like God. Uh, two two aura two double auras from the Guardian plus uh, the DOT from Acid Elemental. Shrine Master playing Acid Amp. This is a uh, kind of a weird uh, strategy to turtle with. Uh, Burn Pyro immediately taking advantage of that positioning. And uh, doing a double maddening echoes. I don't know what he's going to follow this up with. There's a second pin cushion that could get one attack. Uh, Corona can get who's uh, who's hunted right here. Uh, this this guardian in the back is hunted, so Corona could potentially beset to that and do a double attack. Would do uh, what 14 damage? No, 13. Yeah, because of the SL bonus. But it looks like uh, Pincushion is going to move on in. Uh, what's going on up here, by the way? I should probably I should probably keep track of the entire map. Uh, we got Neo Drake versus a uh, Deep Elf Mercenary down to half HP already. All right. So uh, keep an eye on that. But it, it seems like Burn has got top under control. Ooh, is that a planner dissonance? Damn. So Shrine Master heavily uh, outplaying Burn Pyro there by clicking and dragging that spell. Uh, it saps all of Corona's AP. So they, honestly, that was a pretty good play, I, I gotta say. Planner dissonance uh, kind of screws over under depths. Uh, especially spiders, man. If you ever if you ever have the uh, the unlucky uh, fortune of playing spiders into someone who <laughs> runs planner dissonance, you best kiss all of your engaged potential goodbye, because you will never be pouncing, you will never be leaping, and uh, you will never be besetting for the entire game. But uh, Burn Pyro is going to make the best of a bad situation here. He's going to get a couple hits onto that Neo Drake. And uh, unfortunately for him, though, we're not going to... And well, I guess unfortunately for us as well, we're not really going to see Corona uh, do, her, do her thang, because she is about to get popped by the Asset Elemental and the Auras. Uh, or is, of course, a great counter to Oblivion Shield. They go right on through that. So this asset, uh, this asset elemental is going to make a double hit. And then, uh, honestly, Shrine Master doesn't even need to hit that Corona anymore. Because he's got two auras here. But he does anyway, just to uh, land the finishing blow. He could have saved some AP, you know, and hit... Uh, and just, you know, maybe moved on uh, through the water out of Pincushion's aura range. But, uh, yeah, he had the double aura damage plus the dot, which was enough. Uh, that that planner dissonance really screwed Burr up. Uh, his advance sort of faltered. He wasted all that maddening echoes, Nora, uh, expecting probably two kills, but uh, he only managed to get the one asset elemental there. Mm. Now I think 
is would there have been a way for burn to play around that i'm trying to think and i'm probably gonna say no just because like i mean what i was thinking was you could maybe test for planner distance with the pincushion beset but you kind of needed the corona beset to get on in there I, like corona also has phantom dash right so i'm not sure if corona was in phantom dash double hit range if pincushion went in first with the beset and then corona zooped to the other side and then you know she could get two hits as well but uh, that would have been one way i probably the only way honestly planner dissonance you can't really do anything about that in burn situation kind of just you kind of just have to take it burn and burn uh burn is really uh, a fan of taking it in uh, places where the sun don't shine Ooh, an acid storm so acid storm on the what acid storm on the mercenary brother that's 56 nora champ you you just had to take out huh i mean there's a second one here that could finish off that neo drake it was did you really need to like you could have just ran your neo drake back and uh let regen help you out but i mean i guess he got the kill and uh that's in the but the, yeah i don't know that's a 45 nora spell right you're using on a mercenary doesn't seem worth it in my opinion even if you're keeping the neo drake alive for a little bit longer like if you if you could have maybe got in the font with that play as well it would have been it would have been fine but uh, I think in this situation, Shrine Master is probably thinking, man, I got Burn Pyro on the ropes. I, I got that Planner Dissonance up. He can't do shit. And he's getting, you know, he's getting a little too big for his britches. But uh, this this Guardian down to 11. These things are honestly kind of kind of good. Like, I, I'm not going to lie. I like these things in Acid. Uh, they got Aura. They got Acolyte. Usually they're kind of more construct material. But uh, they do tend to have a lot of they have a lot of acid synergy just with the healing you know and they drop auras so you could like they drop a relic with aura and then you give aura to, you know, to yourself so 12 passive damage in, AOE, in an aoe they're not they're they're nice i like them for 70 but uh, burn pyro is going to take one of them down with that fire blast and then uh well, he could flame strike the other one and was that uh, or is that flame strike on Gulam? probably Unless, uh, unless he figured he going for the asset elemental here is the better play. Maybe he has like a superiority play, maybe, to try and finish these guys off. Otherwise, uh, that pincushion is not looking too hot. He's gonna he's gonna go down here to the uh, to the guardian, but uh, shrine Ma and and of course up top, burn pyro desperately trying to keep uh, shrine master out of his font. And uh, actually, shrine master <laughs> kills his own relic with the uh, the corrosive grenade there. Kind of, I, could he have, I think he could have positioned around that, right? No, because the relic was like, I think the relic was like right here, right? Yeah, because then he could have, he could have bombed like over here at the back and uh, and avoided it. But uh, yeah, pincushion still on 22. He's going to go down. You, you, there's just no way around it. You're dead. You're dead. Just resign yourself to death right now. I mean, Burn Pyro is keeping up the aggression Shrine Master on only one font currently. But uh, with the Snogby deploy, ooh, we're gonna see some, we're gonna see some horns, we're gonna see some jazzy action. I like Snogby. If if I could make like a uh, a custom Snogby rune, like Jazzman the Ant Bear, I could. Uh, F F, if you're still out there, yeah, selling selling custom name tokens, huh? maybe DMs. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Snogby is gonna do even more aura damage to uh, this Balefire Knight. And uh, yeah, the Pincushion going down, Shrine Master gathering a bunch of globes. I mean, Burn, I would still give the advantage to Burn Pyro here. Uh, the Distract honestly doesn't do too much because Balefire is like already in the thick of it. He can't, there's no real need for him to Flame Strike. And uh, Chosen of Asarius, no abilities. And uh, of course, Deep Elf Mercenary can't really do much uh, Distracted or otherwise. So yeah, but then it's just more passive damage from Shrine Master. Uh, honestly, Acid decks they're probably my favorite amp theme i gotta say like even above like poison i've no, i was never a big fan of frost but uh poison probably my second favorite acid though i think has a lot of potential like you could really like it's basically just amp and sabotage spam and then you know but it has a lot of range it has a lot of like aoe damage and you like you can do some cool stuff with like kiss of vex for uh, some surprising uh, burst stuff. And then you have Sand Snipe for uh, 19 damage amped piercing shots. I mean, that, that's crazy. Like, the, that, that can get pretty cracked. Uh, I think people are maybe sleeping a little bit on Acid Amp. <clears throat> but uh, Deep Elf Mercenary gonna get a hit. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is not really a close fight at all. Mercenary, once that distract wears off, 
is just going to be set onto that Neo Drake, and as expected, Shrine Master did end up wasting that um, that Acid Storm for nothing because his Neo Drake is dead anyway, and he can't even get to the font for his Nora for like for his trouble, right? So Deep Elf Mercenary takes that out. It did cost a price of victory actually, and here, yep, there's the mandate. So Balefire with 21 damage going to get a nice little heal off on that Acid Elemental. And, uh, you know, Shrine Master is not one to surrender. So actually, Burn Pyro uh, recovering nicely from that uh, that Planner Distance play. I'm still sad we didn't get to see Corona pop off. That would have been fun. And that's actually the only new Underdepths rune that Burn Pyro has deployed. Uh, I was kind of expecting more. Well, I was hoping for more. Like, where is, where is your where is your new Hook Fiend? Where is your new... Uh, you know, where is your new Grimlike that, uh, that's, only, that's only good late game now? Uh, honestly, Grimlike... I don't know how to feel about the new Grim. Like, he basically, like he was unchanged for so long. It just feels weird having him suddenly be completely different now. Like just shifting his focus away from uh, the strong early deploy that he was towards the surge enemy light game. And uh, Shrine Master here going for an all or nothing play, trying to get that Bale fired down. But I mean, it's costing him a transfigure. Did he even need that? He had 14. I guess if he had a quickening. Yeah, he's going to do 10 more, and then uh, 15, so 13, 26, plus the aura. Yeah, he did need the Transfigure, but it, it is going to be a little bit overkill. He will be able to use uh, some of his AP to get this globe, though. So he can make a hit, get the globe, and then run back for the aura kill. And, and yep, there it goes. Actually, he doesn't even need it, because Snogby has aura 3. Sometimes I see aura 1 on Snogby just to keep him cheap, but I mean, at that point, like, you're, you're kind of uh, hand-boning yourself. Because there's no, like, if you're going to run Snog, you might as well take Aura 3, right? Just the 4 Nora difference uh, here or there. I mean, you're paying, like, almost 90 Nora for Snog either way. And you want him to, you want to get your Nora's worth. Because after he's greeting, he's kind of just a, kind of just a normalish champion with good stats. And uh, basically, I, I, I kind of used to think of him like a weaker Morgan, like Morgan the Lost. Like, with less CC, but more, uh, of course, more on-deploy effect uh, efficiency. But, uh, you know, he's still, you he can still do stuff in fights. So that does leave that globe for Burn. And uh, Burn, of course, now that Shrine Master is transfigured, he's just going to say, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit in your font as much as possible. Hey, there's the new Grimlock. There's Mr. Grimlussy. He's got, uh, he's got Surge Enemy now, as opposed to uh, high base damage. So I guess, uh, I mean, it's fine. Like, he gets plus two from Underdepth's bonus. He can make another plus two attack with Radiant Blow, and then uh, Burn Pyro still taking Firebomb. Uh, I mentioned on the Discord um, when on the day of the patch that uh, there there's kind of an argument for taking Lava Storm now over Firebomb if you want to deploy uh, deploy Grimlock early, because the, uh, if you deploy him early, of course Surge Enemy won't be as effective, and uh, his Firebomb will be significantly weaker. But if you take Lava Storm, uh, it'll always do 12 damage plus the four from the Lava Terrain. So that's a uh, you, you could you could maybe justify that if you want to uh, if you're still intending to deploy Grimlock early in the game, just to keep his damage numbers up, because Firebomb, of course, will be a lot weaker when he has lower base damage. Mm. But now here, like Grimlock is a pretty good deploy. He can he can Firebomb to get around Absorb. He can uh, fend off the uh, the assault on the font with his illusions. And uh, honestly, the illusions are probably just going to die to a fascinate uh, deafening aura anyway. But Burn Pyro is, is wise, he'll save that for an escape tool, because Snogby doesn't actually have distracting blows or anything, and of course Grimlock is immune to the uh, the fascinate pull. Tanova looks like uh, looks like Burn is going for the immediate deception, and uh, sticking those illusions in the way he wants to, I guess he wants to keep the uh, the avatar from like running at Grimlock, because uh, Grimlock is uh, on his own, kind of, kind of vulnerable to the avatar rushing in, as long as deception is on cooldown. But uh, still keeping up with the Nora, like Burn, Burn is just so ahead of Nora right now. It really doesn't matter too much if he leaves that font, because Shrine Master has transfigured. Now he's getting in top with the Fire Ruby and only Drummer to defend. It's not going to be. I mean, Drummer can flourish, of course, for uh, keep, keeping that Deep Elf Mercenary at bay. Shrine Master actually going for the Tornado to kill the Ruby. Uh, I don't know about that one, my guy. I, I guess that does maybe keep the uh, the one v one in your favor now. Because with the mercenary flourished, uh, like you can't fight back against a drummer. But of course, it does let mercenary just walk into the font because she's uh, disengaged now from the charm. But I mean, I mean, like drummer is five speed. Like you can easily outrun uh, his attacks and just wait for the charm to wear off. 
but uh, I mean at this point drummer does win the 1v1 eventually. It's just gonna take uh, just gonna take longer. It's weird that Shrine Master is using uh, his Nora on uh, on spells like this when he's already behind. Like, there was really no reason to kill that Fire Ruby there. Like your font is gonna be contested either way, so why not just save Nora and potentially deploy Bot? I mean, in this position, if I were Shrine Master, I'd probably just surrender because like there's no I, don't, I really don't see a way that you could win this. Uh, with having Transfigured and Burn just going to get even stronger on Grimlock. And then uh, Fire Dancer coming up for some more range. You could Flamethrower the Avatar here. And one thing that you have to keep in mind versus Underdepths uh, is that Retribution into your Avatar <laughs> is a very embarrassing way to lose a game. So Burn here, it, it, assuming Burn is running Ret, which he might actually not be, given the way he's positioning. He, he's kind of being a little defensive. If I were running Ret, I would be I would be just sniping the shit out of that avatar with Grimlick and uh, and planning for a retribution kill. The Shrine Master's I mean Shrine Master, you all know what Shrine Master is gonna do. He's gonna be the type to just sit at his font and bore burn pyro and myself to death. Hopefully, uh, hopefully when I look at the analytics for this video, uh, nobody will have skipped through. Hey, there's new uh, yeah skipped through to the uh, to the good bits. But uh, Demonologist coming into play, and the new Demonologist, another one that just, I mean, someone was completely off their rocker designing this guy. I mean, he, he's going to get another tap, I feel. Uh, he still has Swarm uh, and Pawn. He's an interesting champion, I will, I will admit. This is a hell yeah change, but maybe maybe a little bit too hell, hell yeah, and uh, not enough, not enough whoa there. Because, uh, I mean, cast Dark Pact, having that back is nice. I, I love having that ability around now. Because it's always funny to have spells get redirected and, you're, and you can laugh at your opponent. I always like running Scapegoat in Sundered Lands for that same reason. But, you know, he can he can be, be running Wizards now. He has Book Burn. Uh, you can Ritual is still as well. And, uh, and then summon his own Imps for casting Dark Pact on. <clears throat> Uh, another another change uh, that was made, we might not see the champion in play, was the Infamiliar. And Infamiliar can now get the Familiar ability off uh, when you have Demonologist in play, rather than just Grimlick. And uh, they also gave him some more uh, some more Imp synergy. I think Mischief is on base, or maybe he maybe, maybe was always on base. But uh, he has boost now for Wizards and Imps. Uh, he lost Race Demon, so there's no like weird like Nether Wraith shenanigans where you just... Uh, get boost or camaraderie off on your own on your entire faction but uh he's he great imp support now he's great wizard support like I, I'm, I'm kind of excited to try ud wizards uh, at some point after after some of these champions have received their just nerfs and uh, the hype around the deck has died down i feel like that's kind of one of alakami's pet decks is why is it, it was buffed uh, i don't mean to say that uh that bias is at is at play when it comes to these patches. I'm sure a, a healthy dose of it is, as it always will be, because we're all human and we all uh, we all like to uh, encourage behavior that coincides with our worldview. But uh, yeah, I, I think people are like people have been saying that Underdepths got the the best end of the stick when it comes to the patch. But I mean, Underdepths has always felt stronger than other factions, just because it's that's just been the history of the game. So. I guess I guess maybe we'll have to play some more games on the patch. I'm going to play some more games myself, by the way, rather than just uh, talk out my ass and have, have my uh, all my advice come from the, the position of because I said so. Uh, but yeah, I think I think it's fine. Like she will demon another champion that received a buff like he seemed. Honestly, I was running him before like I was running him before this alleged this supposed buff. But I mean, he, like he felt strong even then. But now uh, he looks like on paper. I haven't played with him at all, but he seems better. I I guess like you could take Vivify on him now and uh, get a bunch a uh, bunch more attacks with Essence Capture. He still has Aura, Horrific Aura three, which I like. And then he, I guess, randomly got Fearless and Iron Will. Like all right, less CC for your uh, your big beefy demons. I like that. Seems like Burn has taken the plus one speed upgrade, though. I, 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 it's hilarious to me that Shield Demon <laughs> regained this uh, this plus one speed upgrade because Rorschach, uh, when he was in, in power, was adamant that Shield Demon was too good with with plus one speed upgraded because Rorschach was like, oh, he can make a triple attack with you know <laughs> uh, not enough uh, AP. He can he can do an attack plus Blood Rage and then another attack. It was too much, and then you know rushing fonts early. And then Alakami, one of his, one, on his very first patch in power, he gave 
immediately gave Shield Demon back plus one speed. So I, I don't know. <laughs> it does. It, it's kind of funny to me that that happened. But Burn Pyro going for another double echo is play. Man, uh, haters are really gonna. Okay, well, Burn Pyro. Shrine Master saw the double echoes again and was immediately like, Nah, nah, fam, that's it for me. And uh, yeah, haters are gonna have a field day with that one. But uh, Burn Pyro taking the game. So uh, well played to both, and we'll see everyone in the next one.